Hello and welcome back to the GSMC Fantasy Sports Podcast brought to you by the GSMC Sports Network. We are at the last segment of today's show and it should be a very, very mm, intriguing one because of the fact that we are talking about the Wolves, Mavs, and to paraphrase one of the other hosts in the, in the GSMC network, Nelson, who was our resident basketball expert, this was a belt-to-ass performance brought to you by the Dallas Mavericks. Luka Doncic, I think he is the best player in the world right now. Obviously, he hasn't won a championship just yet, but who cares because of the fact that when the ball is in his hands, he can make magic happen. And combined with Kyrie Irving, they are one of the dominant duos in this sport. Let's talk about Luka's stats last night, both in game time and in fantasy. 36, 10, and 5 in 37 minutes. 57.5 fantasy points. If he was on your roster, congratulations. 124.8 fantasy points in the last two games. Just an incredibly dominant performance again from Luka Doncic. And Kyrie Irving as well. He had 48.3 fantasy points for himself. 36, 5, and 4 stat line. And this duo right now is the reason why the Dallas Mavericks have made it this far. Obviously, coming into this kind of crapshoot of a Western Conference Finals tournament the Dallas Mavericks really kind of had to transition their game from a Luka and Kyrie centric game to a more team game but that does not mean that their production waned they become this dominant duo because of the fact that Dallas is willing to build around them and as we've seen through their demolition of all these teams in the Western Conference the fact that the Dallas Mavericks are willing to do whatever it takes to get to the NBA Finals and potentially win an NBA championship for Luka Doncic and Kyrie again. An interesting stat that I found out this morning is that Luka and Kyrie are only the second duo behind Elgin Baylor and Jerry West to have three dual 30-point outings in the same series that just goes to show their amount of offensive production for this Dallas Mavericks team. But two other players who we've also highlighted on this channel need to get their due respect in their ability to be some of the, the better role players surrounding Luka and Kyrie in this series and this postseason. Derek Lively and Daniel Gafford, both 3-of-3 three three for field goals. I believe Daniel Gafford was perfect in terms of field goal percentage and field goal shooting in this series. So what an incredible uh, asset they are. But also because of the fact that they are able to have not only offensive output, but defensive output as well. They are going to be two guys in this NBA Finals that will create that intriguing match between them and Chris Tapps Porzingis down low. But we are focusing on this game as well, and we also have to focus on the Minnesota Timberwolves side of things. In my honest opinion, they just ran out of gas. Honestly, even though Cat and Anthony Edwards did have their points, they got their uh, their uh, point production there. I think that they just were too tired, and ultimately the team that, that was around them kind of gave up. They knew their time was up, and they allowed Luka and Kyrie to suck the energy out of that arena. Obviously, Minnesota fans really wanted to see their team make this a series, but... The fact of the matter is they just found no way to combat Luka and Kyrie. And that is why they are eliminated. But congratulations to them. I think that they are going to be a young up-and-coming team that will continue to progress, continue to make more conference finals, if not NBA finals, in the very near future. But looking ahead kind of to this final series, because this offers so many different storylines, diverse storylines, intersecting Kyrie looking to uh, beat his former team make sure that banner number 18 does not hang in TD Garden Luka Doncic looking to cement himself as the best player in the world the Boston Celtics looking to cement themselves as one of the best teams in NBA history obviously they've had a fantastic net rating they had a fantastic defensive rating just a well-rounded team 
Jason Tatum looking to dispel the no notion that he cannot perform in clutch time and clutch series. Uh, Jalen Brown looking to continue his fantastic run through this postseason. And Drew Holiday and Derek White looking to prove that they are two of the best defenders in the league. Drew Holiday looking to prove that he was one of the better acquisitions of this season. Along with Kristaps Porzingis returning to the Celtics lineup. Look for him to be a very interesting player to follow throughout this series. To see if he can hold up in real game time in what should be a very intriguing defensive matchup. Like I said, between himself and Derek Lively and Dan Gafford. I think this is going to be a much more uh, fantastic, interesting series than people think. I, I don't think that the Celtics are completely out of the water yet. Yes, they have proved that when their backs are against the wall, like we saw in the Indiana series, where they were down in three of the four games they won, that they can come back and steal some games. But... Like I said, they haven't necessarily been challenged as much as they will be by the Dallas Mavericks duo of Luka and Kyrie. They did not face Tyrese Halliburton for most of the Indiana series. They did not face Donovan Mitchell for most of the Cavs series. And they did not face Jimmy Butler for most of the Heat series. So this is the first time they are truly being tested by uh, the Mavs and their fantastic duo but I think what separates these two teams is the fact that the Celtics have so much versatility and length defensively that no matter who switches on to Luka and Kyrie, they will make sure that they have a tough matchup that will make Luka and Kyrie's lives much harder. I think that the Davs are going to have to rely upon their role players to get more offensive production because it can't all be... Luka and Kyrie in this series. I think that the Celtics defensive prowess will be able to carry them over the edge in this series, but look for Luka and Kyrie to continue to put up the points that they have. But that will just about do it for today's show. I was really excited to introduce all these new sports, these new topics to you guys. I really hope you enjoy this show. It was really exciting to do. Come back next week where I'll talk more about IDP rankings will, will, will make their triumphant return to this podcast. And also, looking at some more fantasy college football and some of the breakout players who I think will have big seasons there. But that will just about do it for this today's show. My name is Christopher Shepard. As always, I do ask that you like, follow, and subscribe to the show. Leave a tip and donation at the link gsmc.cloud. It is greatly appreciated. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. We will be back next week better than ever.